Uh, I know this is just the last thing before we go, but uh, wanted to give a good reading since all these leaks are coming out. We actually have a, a leak of Duterte and uh, Donald Trump talking on the phone. Uh, so who wants to play Donald Trump and Duterte? Are we going to read the whole thing? It's not that long. All right, let's do this. Um, I guess I'll be Donald Trump. Okay, you got to sound like Donald I'll, Trump. I'll try though. as best I can. Sydney, do you want to be Duterte? Of course. Do you have Give it me up? Give one moment. PRRD is Duterte. We're reading this. This is uh, the official transcript, and uh, PRRD is listed as Duterte. Give me one moment. Dude. You, can want... be, you can be everybody else, like the transcript or, or like operator. <laughs> okay. No, I'll be... If, I'll, uh, if you brought up the PDF, it's on page three. Give me one moment. I am... I'm While you're bringing it up, it says that they were they were pretty much talking about the drug war. And uh, they said it was a very friendly conversation. So seems I'm like glad they get that along very well. It seems like every single time Trump calls someone, it's a friendly conversation. He never really has bad conversations, does he? But no. They try to paint Trump as this like really really bad guy, but every time people meet him, they're like, the "Dude's like super nice." Yeah, so, he does pretty well with like foreign leaders and whatnot. You got that up yet, Sydney? Give me one moment. There's okay. a lot to scroll through on this. People are actually complaining about this transcript that was released because they said it has a lot of typographical errors, even though it's an official document from the Philippines. Like, I guess they just spelled a bunch of stuff okay. wrong. Okay, I've got this. Okay. Right. Okay. Um... Let me channel my inner leader real quick. <clears throat> I got to do the hand motions too. I wish <laughs> we were filming this with video. It's like I'm a. Uh, it's like I'm directing children in the high school. All right. I guess whenever you're ready. This uh, is Duterte speaking. Yes, speaking. I'm the U.S. operator. Yeah, you are. Go. Yes, sir. Just one moment for President Trump, please. Thank you. Mr. President. Thank you for calling, and good evening. It's night over here. Okay. I hope it's not too late. It's okay, isn't it? Is it too late? No, it's okay. We are just having dinner with some of the members of ASEAN. Oh, okay. Good, because no, you don't sleep too much. You're just like me. You are not a person who goes to bed at all. I know that, right? Yes, you are right, Mr. President. I just wanted to congratulate you because I am hearing of the unbelievable job on the drug problem. Many countries have that problems. We have a problem. But what a great job you are doing, and I just wanted to call you and tell you that. Thank you, Mr. President. This is a scourge of my nation now, and I have to do something to preserve the Filipino nation. I understand, that fully understand, that you and I think we have a previous president who did not understand that. But I understand that we have spoken about this before. Yes, I know that. Thank you. Yes. So, how is everyone doing? How is the fools doing? We are doing fine, Mr. President. But at the ASEAN summit, every member state was really nervous about the situation in Korean Peninsula. But we would like to tell you that we support you and keep on the pressure because as long as those rockets and warheads are in the hand of Kim Jong-un, we will never be safe as there is no telling what will happen next. What's your opinion of him, Rodrigo? What are we dealing with someone who is stable or not stable? He is not stable, Mr. President. As he keeps on smiling when he explodes a rocket, he has even gone against China, which is his last country he should rebuke. But it seems from his face he is laughing always, and there's a dangerous toy in his hands which could create so much agony and suffering for all mankind. Well, he has got the power, but he doesn't have the delivery system. All his rockets are crashing. That's good news. But eventually, when he gets that delivery system, what do you hunk about China? Does China have power over him? Yes. At the end of the day, the last card, the ace has to be with China. It only China. He is playing with his bombs, his toys, and from the look of it, his mind is not working well, and he might just go crazy one moment. China, make a last-ditch effort to tell him to lay off. China will play a very important role there. We have a lot of firepower over there. We have two submarines, the best in the world. We have two nuclear submarines. Not that we want to use them at all. I've never seen anything like that. But they are. But we don't want to have to use this one because he could be crazy. So we'll see what happens. Every generation has a madman. And our generation is Kim Jong-un. You are dealing with a very delicate problem. We can handle it. But you can keep the pressure on him. I hope China solves the problem. They really have the means because a great degree of their stuff comes through China. But they are doing great things. Like not accepting calls. But if China doesn't do it, 
We will do it. I will try to make a call. President E. Xi Jinping. Jimin Don, I will try and tell him if we will remain peaceful. China has the card. The only other option is a nuclear blast, which is not good for everybody. You can tell him I am counting on him. I have a very good relationship with him. I had him in Florida for two days and got to know him very well. He's a good guy. I will do that. I will call his ambassador here and will make an appointment to call him. It will be good if you can keep the pressure on Kim. But we actually, we are all worried that we are dealing with striking distance of his rockets. We are all afraid. We can't let a madman with nuclear weapons let on the loose like that. We have a lot of firepower, more than he has, times 20. But we don't want to use it. You will be in good shape. We believe it. We know it all along. I will try to make a call tomorrow to China. Please call China and tell them we are all counting on China. Tell the president we became friends for two days, that he was great. On another subject, I am coming to see you, I guess, sometime. November, hopefully. We'll be happy to see you. Thank you, Mr. President. You are a good man. Yes, certainly in November. Welcome and thank you. And we will be happy to see you, Rodrigo. I look forward to seeing you. If you want to come to the Oval Office, I would love to have you in the Oval Office. Anytime you want to come. I'll be in the Philippines in November. But anytime if you are in D.C. or anywhere, come see me in the Oval Office. Work it out with your staff. Seriously, if you want to come over, just let me know. Just take care of yourself, and we will take care of North Korea. Keep up the good work. You are doing an amazing job. Say hello to the people of the Philippines for me. They know that you are calling. It is the last day of the ASEAN summit, and everyone was asking about Sultan Bolshevik just left, and I will tell the remaining guys here that you told what you told me. We are all for peace. There is no secret about that. Good. You take care of yourself. Come see me in November. You are invited anytime. I will do that, Mr. President. Thank you for the concern. God bless you, Mr. President. Take care of yourself, Rodrigo. God bless you. Holy crap, that was amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That's we will some... meme it into existence. It shall be done. I can't wait for Frederico Duterte to come to America now. You can finally give him a hug. See, we finally put these leaks to good use. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was a pretty high energy way to close out the show. 